Is your skin as inflamed as your parental units were when you were a child and you would leave the water in the sink running? Uh-huh, if you know, then you know. But what you might not know are the top K-beauty products for battling skin inflammation and what it actually is. Skin inflammation really contributed to my acne and I didn't realize what inflammation was actually doing to my skin and that the inflammation pathway is actually good. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's part of a healing process and I had to learn that and understand that in order to find the right things to take care of my skin. If you are someone who struggles with blemishes, if you struggle with redness, if your skin is sensitive and irritated, you could be struggling with inflammation. And if you have an open flesh wound because your cat was just too excited to see you and decided to make bread loafs on your arm or your leg or your lap, then you absolutely have some inflamed gnarly wounds and fissures that actually need inflammation in order to heal. I'm also going to share the seven best K-beauty products to help battle skin inflammation. Some of those are things like Centella. We're going to talk all about ingredients. Yes, even sunscreen. And we even have a cleanser from Puriam that's just launched and we're working with them on a portion of this video. But before we even get to what to put on your face, we have to understand what's happening inside of our face. Because you see, inflammation is not always a bad thing. Inflammation is part of the body's healing process. Our wounds, our broken bones, and our blemishes would not heal at all. The first thing that happens if you pop a pimple or you get a wound in your skin is vasoconstriction. Basically, the blood vessels and the tiny little capillaries start constricting. Platelet aggregation happens. Platelets are in our blood and they basically clump and coagulate together to create what becomes a scab so that we don't bleed out forever. And that's why if someone is on blood thinners or if they ate a ton of garlic or if they overconsumed Pepto-Bismol, Pepto then there's actually the potential and the danger of people bleeding out or over bleeding, which is why this aggregation, this coagulation and having like a little scab and a little clot is a great thing. There's also leukocyte site migration, leuco meaning white and site meaning cell, so white blood cell. And these all rush to the area to start the healing process. And this is why inflammation is a good thing. Have you ever thought about medical microneedling or lasers? You're literally shoving needles into the skin. You're shooting lasers at the skin. If you're doing a chemical peel, you are burning the skin with a chemical peel. Why would we do that? The reason why is because it stimulates inflammation, which is again, this big bad thing that we're told to avoid, but inflammation can actually be helpful because it starts the process of healing the skin, building new skin, building collagen and elastin. And that's why, although inflammation has a bad reputation, it's actually part of a process that ends in a very good thing. Once these blood cells have come to the area to fight off any bacteria or viruses or any dirt that you had in your fingernails before you popped that pimple, you nasty. Afterwards, other cells start to get recruited as well. Things such as neutrophils and even later on macrophages. And macrophages are some of my favorite little cells because they do what's called phagocytosis. They basically hungry, hungry hippos and they like to eat and destroy other cells and other things so they can actually clean out damaged cells and help your skin or other areas of your body make new and better ones. Afterwards, specifically after a few days or a few weeks have started to pass, this is when we get to the fun stuff that everybody loves. We are talking the collagen proliferation. Your skin building new collagen, new elastin, your beautiful fibroblast cells, excreting elastin and hyaluronic acid to help heal and to actually rebuild the skin back stronger. And this is again, why people go through medical microneedling, why people go through laser therapy and skin treatments and chemical peels. It's to actually stimulate inflammation by causing this damage to the skin just so that we can rebuild and get to these steps that yes, do help to rebuild the skin. And when you let your biology does what it do best, it builds back beautiful. New tissue is formed, angiogenesis happens, which basically means little blood vessels, tiny capillaries are rebuilt, bringing nutrients and new blood flow and new stimulation and circulation to this area. And after about a month or two, once that collagen and elastin has really rebuilt and that structure has been restored, that's when we get to remodeling, epithelialization, basically making the skin as good as new or even a better version of its old self as it can be. And as you can see, this process is absolutely integral to making sure that our skin is healthy and happy, especially when talking about what our skin does when we pop a pimple or when we experience a wound. And while that inflammation is not bad, there are certain things such as chronic inflammation that can be really bad for our skin or body. If we are chronically exposed to UV damage from the sun and it's causing micro levels of inflammation, you bet that that can destroy the skin and cause a lot of damage that never has the chance to reheal. If you're constantly picking at your skin and popping pimples and adding dirt and bacteria in there and not allowing them to heal because you're picking them off. Um, first off, I've been there, like I get you. But second off, 
that absolutely contributes to long-term inflammation. If you have an inflammatory skin condition, something like rosacea, then even hot beverages, spicy foods, or alcohol, or changes in weather could trigger that inflammation. And that is where we get to our list of things to avoid and our list of things to look for, and then the products that can actually help. When it comes to what you should avoid, in general, there are things or ingredients that you probably want to steer clear from. And the first are fragrances. Especially if you're sensitive or especially if you are prone to skin damage, you want to avoid products that have fragrances in them. You also want to avoid anything with harsh actives. We're talking our beloved chemical peels. We're talking our microneedling. If you just went in the sun and your skin is inflamed or you're having a rosacea flare up, you don't wanna go in and do medical microneedling. So back away from the treatments, the procedures, or the really harsh actives at this time. You also may want to look out for things like dyes or colorants because sometimes those dyes or colors can can be irritating to the skin. And this is a big one, but although we absolutely love SPF, our BFF, sometimes organic sunscreen components can cause irritation or trigger inflammation in some people's skin. If you use chemical slash organic sunscreens and you love them, continue. But if you're someone who notices that when you apply a certain sunscreen, it burns on your face, you may want to avoid that and look for something that is mineral, physical, or inorganic instead. We're gonna talk about that in a couple of seconds because it is super important, but just making sure you're aware of what's in your products, how they work on your skin, and you're listening to your skin's response is super important. Important. And yes, you may actually want to avoid certain plant extracts and essential oils. Essential oils are not essential. They are basically an essence and a concentrated version of a plant oil. And while some of those can be very anti-inflammatory and very wonderful for skin, things like tea tree oil, at other times, if they're too potent, they can be irritating. So while it's not a blanket statement, if you're sensitive to something like lemon, you're gonna wanna avoid something that has lemon essential oil in it. Now on the flip side, what do we want to look for. Well, when you think about what our skin is made up of and what promotes wound healing in the skin, that's definitely going to be ceramides, omega fatty acids, squalene oil, cholesterol, different lipids. We also want vitamin C and hyaluronic acid because they help with wound healing. Amino acids are those tiny little building blocks that turn into peptides and then into proteins. And amino acids are great at holding moisture close to the skin. And amino acids can also potentially help to cause cellular cascades or basically reactions in the skin that maybe can lead to collagen and elastin production or be anti-inflammatory depending on the group of amino acids that we're using, which is also called a peptide chain or a polypeptide chain, and that could be very beneficial to skin. We also wanna look for antioxidants. We're talking centella, we're talking low-level tea tree, we're talking metacastaside, we're talking these amazing compounds that literally fight against free radical damage from the sun or in the skin and can help to calm down inflammation and promote healing. Now, as you can see, these are specific to the skin if we're talking about inflammation because you broke your leg water skiing with Gordon Ramsay, of course you're gonna wanna do things differently. That's when you're going to want to rice, not Gordon Ramsay's rice. Excuse me but rice, as in rest, iced, compress, and elevate. That's what you do for broken bones, and this right here is what you do for inflamed skin. So let's talk about some of my favorite products, and specifically K-Beauty ones. Now, why K-Beauty? South Korea is the world's hub for dermatological innovations, basically when it comes to plastic surgery, or skincare ingredients, or wound healing and skin science. South Korea is where all of the new cutting edge and research is really coming out of. This is what I have been putting on my face from Pure AM, and this is one of the most gentle, acne-friendly, cleansers from Korea that I have ever come across. Pure AM literally stands for Pure I Am, and it's because the founder, Jean, actually wanted to create a line that helps to uplift the beauty and the authenticity of young women around the world, including the ones that she helps donate to. And she would constantly see the plastic surgery and the Photoshop in magazines, and she wanted to create something that stood against that and that really took care of skin. The entire Pure AM line also stands for sensitive skin in mind. They actually test it in Germany with dermatologists, basically a skin sensitivity test, to test whether or not it's irritating and how deep some of the actives penetrate. And I swear, especially if you have acne, this is the Purely Me Cleanser. It's an amino acid one. This is so gentle, so effective, excellent if you have inflammation from acne prone skin, but not overly stripping, not overly irritating, and it's safe enough to use every single day. It's also fragrance free. It does have kind of a natural fragrance. It almost smells Kind of like my grandmother's garden, it almost smells a little bit like rosemary, but the amino acids in here, the dandelion post biome support, it literally supports the skin, helps to decrease inflammation with some of these antioxidants. And as we spoke about these antioxidants being super helpful, you know we gotta turn it up with a toner. This right here is from Skin1004, and if you are looking for one of the most calming toners, 
this is it. I could literally take a bath in this stuff. I just absolutely love this, especially if your skin gets flushed, if you get red really easily, if your skin has a hard time with sebum regulation, meaning you get way too dry or way too oily, you use this as a toner underneath your moisturizer, and then your moisturizer or your serum steps actually penetrate deeper because of this. By the way, I have listed all of these in the description just to make them easy to find. There is no obligation to get them, but if it's something that you think you are interested in, go ahead, read the ingredients with me, and if you do decide to shop, it actually helps our team and it helps us afford kitty cat and puppy treats for our furry friends who also help us edit these videos. This has Centella Asiatica extract or Gota Cola at 84%, which is like the highest that I know. And on top of that, this also has hyaluronic acid in it. This also has a small amount of niacinamide, which is also very anti-inflammatory and can help kind of minimize the look and the feel of pores. It also helps to decrease pigmentation from spreading in the skin. And this also has gluconolactone and adenosine, which Fun fact, adenosine is used in emergency medicine if someone is having heart issues, but on the skin, it's actually very calming, nourishing, and hydrating. This is a beautiful option to put in that toner slash essence step of your routine. Speaking of some of that redness, this would have to be one of my favorite redness calming correctors from K-Beauty of all time. This is from Holica Holica, and this is the Less On Skin Redness Calming Sika Serum. That Sika is the same thing as Gota Cola or Centella Asiatica, so it's the same main ingredient, but this is put in a serum form and it's literally made for anti-redness. Whereas this is amazing if you have blemish prone and acne prone skin, this is amazing if you have redness prone skin, if you have a little bit of rosacea or a little bit of flushing. It is super calming and it literally just swipes the redness away in just a couple dabs onto the face. This specifically has centella as well as magnesium. It's also got meadow foam oil and a whole bunch of antioxidants in here that are very, very soothing to the skin. If you do have redness, this is lovely and you can use this as a serum. There is another option, but this one right here is the Calm Ampule Serum. It's from Nine Wishes, and if you are just looking for something that hydrates, that is super simple, that is gentle on skin, and you're like, I don't really have a lot of redness in my skin, I'm not really seeing the impact, but I know that my skin is exposed to the environment, or I'm just worried about skin inflammation, that's when you would go with something like this serum, rather than something like this that really hits home on the redness. And we can't forget the internet's K-beauty favorite, Snail Mucin. Cassandra, I thought you were a vegan, I thought you didn't use snail nail products. Are you escargoing the other way now? No, bitch. This is actually a vegan snail serum with the same amazing benefits, but without the snails. This is from V Green, and I'm so happy that there is like a vegan option for snail mucin. This is technically called the Fragrance Free Nature Mucin Serum Non-Snail by Wild Yam. And if you are looking for basically a K-Beauty snail alternative that does not harm the actual snails, this feels just like snail mucin. It helps to support the skin and is anti-inflammatory just like snail mucin. And yes, it's fine to use if you have acne blemish prone skin. This is a beautiful, beautiful formula that again, Korea K-Beauty has just continued to deliver. This has wild yam. This has panthenol, that vitamin B5. This actually has copper peptides and ceramides in it. And again, it's like a clear ceramide liquid. This is so good. And as we spoke about those peptides, those ceramides, those are literally on our hit list of some of the best things that can be used to help repair a skin's damaged barrier or to help with skin inflammation. So this is an absolute favorite, especially if you've always wanted to try snail mucin, but you're like, Heck, am I really gonna put snail secretions on my face? The answer is no, the answer is no, the answer is this. And um, Korea, kamsahamnida, yes, and then you, you're very welcome. And let me know if you want that video about um, how snail mucin is actually extracted from the snails, because you know that I went down a rabbit hole, or should I say a snail hole. Do snails live in holes? They don't live in holes, they live in shells. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. Anyways, I, I went on an adventure, and um, I found some very interesting things. Let me know if you want a video on that coming soon. And subscribe if you don't want to miss it. This is from Medicube, and this is one of the most amazing skincare products that literally rivals the Dr. Jart one in how well it works for redness and to hydrate and support the skin. This right here is the Super Secra Water In Cream, and can you see how absolutely beautiful this goes onto the skin? If you are looking for an antioxidant powerhouse, this is it. And if you are prone to like pigmentation, or if your skin has like different color, or you get those dark marks that are left behind from acne or from wounds, uh, if when that wound process happens, you get a 
little something left over, this is what's going to be amazing. Yes, this has centella. Yes, this has metacasticide, but guess what? This also has turmeric, which is super brightening and supportive to the skin. This also has Super Sika 7, which is basically their blend of centella ingredients, specifically the centella asiatica root extract at 88 parts per million. And then they have the regular centella extract at 87 parts per million. They have panthenol, they have allantoin, they even have synthetic beeswax, meaning vegan beeswax. So this provides a beautiful skin barrier support and actually helps to lock in hydration and doesn't actually hurt the bees. And then this has ectoin, which is a copyrighted ingredient, but it's basically an emollient and it helps to take moisture and keep it in the skin so that all of this goodness actually stays in the skin where it needs to so it can do its work. Again, if you are prone to pigmentation, this is one of the best K-Beauty products that you can use for this. Something comparable that I really like is from Beauty Pie. This is the Happy Face. This is also amazing. This has Centella if you're looking for a K-Beauty option from a non-K-Beauty brand. But overall, Medicube has done it again with this one. Medicube has some phenomenal skincare and it's all vegan and cruelty free and actually affordable. But when it comes to all of these, you know that toners and serums and even moisturizers aren't the most important. The essential parts of a skincare routine are a good cleanser to stay hygienic and SPF our BFF babies. Yes, you know that we've got to talk about sunscreen. Now there are moisturizers as well. This is actually one that I would highly recommend only if you have dry skin. I'm a bit more on the combo to oily side, so baby, this is it for me. But if you are extraordinarily dry, this is a K-Beauty favorite that sells off the shelves all the time. I barely hear people in America speaking about this. This is the Supernatural Cream from Lambelle, and this does have squalene, which remember is related to the squalene that our skin naturally produces. This has copper tripeptide, one, this has panthenol, that vitamin B5, absolutely wonderful. The one thing to call out is that this does have a couple of plant ingredients, not a ton, and they did skin sensitivity testing and found that it didn't impact people. But if you are a little bit worried about that, I just wanna call that out. But during the day, this doesn't matter if you're not protecting your skin with a sunscreen. And one of the key cornerstones of skin inflammation is literally the UV radiation that our skin is bombarded with every single day. If you're inside, in front of a window, if you're driving in a car, or yes, if you're out in the sun, that UVA and UVB damage is directly what is degrading collagen and elastin in the skin. It is causing inflammation. It's actually causing DNA damage and your little cells have to come in because of that inflammation pathway and actually clean out that damage. And if we can prevent that, that's what we gotta do. This is one of my favorites because this literally saved my skin this summer. I actually had a horrendous sunburn. I made a skincare sunscreen mistake and I got burned as fuck, but I had this on my face. So while my body got burned, my face didn't. And it's because this beautiful SPF 50 fully protected me, fully mineral, and this has Centella. This is again from the Skin 1004 line. This is the Centella Air Fit Sun Cream Plus, the SPF 50 PA++++ made with pure Centella from Madagascar. I've been using this throughout the end of summer. I've been putting this on my face. I've been wearing this at the beach and beach, it works so good for me. This has 35.8% Centella, so that's like the main ingredient in here. This also has niacinamide, metacasticide, and licorice. So if you are someone who struggles with like pigmentary issues after you're in the sun or your skin like changes color unevenly when you get a little bit of a sunburn or a little kiss from those solar rays, this is absolutely the way to go. Please keep in mind, this does have a couple of different things such as rosemary and bergamot. I have not found any sensitivity to it and I am very sensitive to bergamot, so just keep that in mind. But this is fragrance free. It's one of the most gentle sunscreens that I have used, and this is brilliant on inflammatory prone skin. And of course you wanna to try to find one that is anti-inflammatory, that helps with that skin sensitivity or irritation. But if you can find one, it doesn't matter if it's physical or chemical, K-beauty or American or German or whatever the fuck country you wanna buy your sunscreen from, as long as it's one you're going to use, that is the most important. So as mentioned, be hygienic. This is one of my absolute favorites, especially if you have blemish prone skin. If you are someone who is really looking to help that anti Oxidant Boost, Skin 1004, this toner is phenomenal. If you have redness on the skin, this Less On Skin is brilliant. And if you just have a little bit of kind of a need for hydration and want some antioxidant and anti-inflammatory support, this Nine Wishes is phenomenal. But if you're like me and have wanted to hop on the snail trend but don't want to actually exploit the snails, this, oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. And personally, I would choose this over this one any day. And if you're prone to pigmentation or looking for a gel formula, this is great to use as a moisturizer or if you're dry and you need it thick, this is where it's at. If you wanna have fun in the sun, remember to do it responsibly. And like with everything, it's about moderation. Sun exposure in moderation. Drinking 
in moderation. Skin inflammation can be good, but only if it's in moderation. Cortisol response can be good, but only in moderation. And now you know all about inflammation and you can impress your friends or your followers on the internet by telling them all about inflammation and how it's not always bad and how it's actually necessary in order for your skin to go through wound healing. Fun fact. Again, a huge thank you to you for being a skin intellectual, for actually caring about your skin and the biology of your beauty. A huge thank you to Pure AM for making sure that I had early access to this and for working with us on a portion of this video. I love that Jean literally donates to help other young girls in need and that this line was literally built to help elevate the confidence of young women and to help them bring out their beauty naturally. I'm also so grateful that these K-beauty brands exist and that you in the comments literally requested this video because I don't know if I would have thought to make it otherwise. If you have other requests, leave them below. We have been having a lot of fun creating little skincare routines for people. So um, if you want to check them out, there they are. And if you want one, I don't know, leave a comment. Hit me up on Instagram. I cannot guarantee anything, but I mean, the, the DMs are open, okay? I'm saying, I'm just saying. Remember to be a skin intellectual and learn your skin science so that you know the positives and the negatives of things like inflammation and always be beautiful inside and out. I love you guys and I cannot wait to see you right here in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.